said about lawyers asking misleading questions, we get into problems with how language can be interpreted. These problems can change from person to person. With each person, you get different speech patterns, voice fluctuations, and the way this, they structure sentences. This causes people to misinterpret what any given person is telling them. So sentence structure is, refers to the word choice and the way that a person will structure a question. And it can change what answer is given as a response. As an example, if you ask what was the what color was the car that the suspect got out of, and, or was the car the suspect got out of red? The better question is to ask what color, because saying the red car puts the image of a red car fresh in your memory. But the first color you think of when you think of the suspect's car is red. This is because if you're asking more specific question, such as did you see the suspect out of the red car? then your brain will automatically draw the connections between the question and what actually happens. Memory is to blame for this. When your memory is con converted from short-term to long-term memory, there's gaps that are created. A lot of those gaps include little small details like the color of the car. And the long-term memory, it's easier to bring up what it color is asked in the question rather than dig in your memory for the correct color. Word connotation is the second meaning of a word besides the defini defi dictionary definition. And the word connotation can depend on a personal experience, social norms, religion, any number of things. And using these certain words can evoke a positive, negative, or neutral reaction. Some words that create a negative connotation connotation are childish, headstrong, and stingy, and we usually put these in with somebody we would not want to be associated, wouldn't want to talk to. And on the opposite, some positive words are childlike, determined, and economical. These words are more positive and more wanted characteristics in a person, which makes them more likely to associate good feelings with that person. So, word emphasis it refers to the tone and what words are used, emphasized, and it changes how the sentence or questions proceed. Emphasis on one word in a sentence can change the whole meaning of the phrase. So if you say a sentence with a sarcastic or aggressive tone, the words themselves change instead of saying it in the neutral tone, which would be the right meaning. Like, will you please take out the trash, or will you please take out the trash? Both of those are the same exact sentence, the same question, but they can be perceived in totally different ways just viewed on the tone. Another example of word emphasis can go with telephone, because you some people will enunciate words differently, causing differences in speech patterns which can confuse the person you're telling it to. So all of this comes together to influence people in the court. If you're talking about what the person in question is being called, this can affect how the eyewitness might perceive what happened during the time in question. As an, as an example, if you use negatively viewed words such as suspect or criminal to describe the person who is said to be committing the crime, it can influence the witness to see the person in a more negatively viewed way, causing them to maybe alter the story so that they become the victim. In contrast, if you refer to someone who was affected by the event as a victim, it can make the witness have sympathy for them, which could alter the way they ultimately tell the story. This is all done unintentionally through our brain. More is the defense can purposely ask a misleading question or add a, in wrong small details, which can cause the eyewitness to fill in the memory gaps with the wrong information that was presented. With This also goes back to the red car or asking what color the car was. This is putting in small details that would trick the witness into thinking that it actually was in the memory and causing a distortion in their memory. 
All of this can make a call for unreliable witnesses when used with a security tape or other witnesses. And we're not doing this. So here's the video of the robbery again. And we're done. How long was that?